Welcome back. Now let's see which were the top five most viewed videos by the Indian audiences in various categories. Oh, show kaun Amir Khan's show, Satyamev Jaitis Comeback Season 2 Traffic Promo grabs lakhs of yeah, views yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, dekhe. Pop sensation Katy Perry's new single Dark Horse was the chart buster with over 4 million views. Godzilla's trailer received an overwhelming response. The giant hits the theater in May. The two divas of Tinsel Town joined Karan this week to create waves on YouTube. Um, at, at the same time, they are very um, broad-minded. Right. They were just human beings. He said, you know, they also wear their pants one leg at a time. That's yeah. what he was. In many countries, DHL has more locations, more vehicles. Innovative more thinking by DHL to promote themselves DHL through their competitor is liked by many. And cool down below the freezing point. In this way, the competitors picked up a black package that transformed back at temperatures above freezing and delivered the message in the most beautiful colors. And now it's time for our special segment where we strive to tell you something interesting about the virtual world. Here's a look at what we stumbled upon for you. Every day when you're online, you find something new. So much so that it's hard to grasp the information overload. What if there was an easier way to find things we wanted to see, things that we always wanted to discover? Well, we have an answer for that and it's called Stumble Upon. Stumble Upon is a discovery engine which helps you to easily discover new and interesting stuff on the web. Tell it what you like and it will show you just that. Just a tap on the stumble button and you're all set to wander into a land of videos, photographs and web pages personalized just for you. At some point all of us experience difficulties in getting the desired match from a query entered in a search engine. Narrowing search results can be a challenge, especially when you're not sure of what you're looking for. Stumble Upon offers a personalized web experience and simplifies things for you. Just mark your likes and preferences whether you're an art lover or a nature enthusiast. Stumble Upon will customize its search and will show you just that. Stumble Upon may sound similar to Google as both are search engines. But one big difference between two is the way things are searched. With Google, you need to know what you are looking for in order to find it. With Stumble Upon, all you have to do is to choose the categories that you like and it will suggest things that you may find interesting in the chosen categories. Stumble Upon is available on multiple platforms that include desktops, iOS and Android devices. You can download Stumble Upon from the App Store and have customized controls suited for your device. So what are you waiting for? Just stumble and start exploring. Is social media adding grist to the rumour mills? A well-crafted lie that goes viral on social media platforms could lead to riot-like situations. In our special story this week, we asked you about the misuse of social media platforms, its consequences and its impact. Take a look. Before Facebook and Twitter, social groups were small and communication was personal. Now it takes only seconds for the most intimate details of people's life to be spread on social media. Additionally, people may be connected to multiple social media outlets at the same time. So people who post something to Twitter may have it show up on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. It also impacts how quickly rumours spread. People who post things online are also likely to say things to people they would not say face to face. These problems which are coming on social media are basically somewhat influenced by the personal interest of a certain group of people who have their own personal interests. Social media is a mixed blessing, so good sense kicked in soon with senior journalists taking the lead in squelching rumours. To mention a few, the exodus of the people from northeastern states from Bangalore, the Muzaffanagar riots and the very recent rumour about the eviction notice to all northeasterners living in a South Delhi area. Yes, there are uh, problems, there are very serious issues related to use of social media particularly the anti-social elements, uh, communal elements, to create disturbances, to create communal hatred. We all know that. But uh, how to deal with hate speech 
on social media. The wide open nature of social media makes manipulation all the more tempting. What worries many experts, even some ardent defenders of free speech, is that bad information that moves fast enough and far enough through the power of Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook has the potential of wrapping up the democratic process. As a youngster these days, I prefer social media over print media or out of home. I'm more aware through social media. I do access it like every day, my Twitter account and Facebook pages. I'm, I, I actively comment on various issues ranging from social issues to my personal life. I share a lot of things. And as far as censorship is concerned, I don't really think that there should be censorship or curb on any medium of speech, be it print or social media, as it would hamper the expression of an individual. However, many expressed against the decision to censor social media platforms. I don't believe that there should be any uh, censorship on the social media because we are in a democratic country, everyone has their own voices. So it, it's more on people that how they talk, how much they talk, they should know I think that's more important. Now let's take a look at what feedback we got from you over the past week. Well, that's all that we have for you today. Join us again next week, same time, same place. Do write to us and share your views via email. That is ddnewsconnect at the rate gmail.com or on our Twitter handle, which is ddnewslive. And before we log off, we leave you with this week's interesting video we search for you. Thank you and goodbye. Half of the herd was killed before they came to us. They were dangerous because they feared men. Others wanted to kill them, but my husband wanted to save them. He left our home to live in theirs. He tried everything. Nothing worked. Lawrence was a free spirit. Nobody could stop him. taught us that trust is not a given or a right, but it is hard-earned over time. It's as simple as this.